Hello YouTube and fellow sports cards collectors, this is Eric J and welcome to the channel. Today's video is part two of our series of creating a pack fresh set of 1987 tops. We are doing that by opening rack packs. In the first video we found 95 out of the 792 cards and two out of the 22 inserts all-star cards. So let's get moving on with opening two more rack packs and see who we find. So we can see, looking at these, we got Dick Hauser as the manager, Keith Hernandez for the All-Star cards, and Ken Griffey, Lou Whitaker, Armas, Davey Johnson on top. Let's see who's on back. On back, let's see, you got Nazi Smith. And some Braves team cards. So, some fun cards to look with. So as with the last video, I'm going to open up the cello packs first and stack up the cards. And then we're going to walk through what we see and just highlight any players that kind of stand out for one reason or another. So let's get going. Starting off with the Keith Hernandez. Now a lot of the manager cards in this set also have team checklists on them. So a lot of the checklists I had when I was little, I would grab the manager cards and mark a lot of these off. So a lot of my manager cards were never never close to mint because I was doing that with them. It's Boyd. Oil can. George Brett. Nice looking card. Get to focus a little bit better on the stats. Another Hall of Famer with Gossage. Oh, and the third one in a row with Kirby Puckett. Nice looking card. Eckersley, one of the last cards with the Cubs before being traded to the A's, and checklist. 
Hey, Billy Bean. Never really turned up at, or worked out as a player, but sure did work out as an executive. General manager for the A's. Done a really nice job. Jim Rice. Mitch Williams. Before he got traded to the Cubs and later to the Phillies. Braves leaders. All star manager for Dick Hauser. Mike Schmidt. Nice looking card. BJ Surhoff, future star when he was with the Brewers. A lot of Orioles fans won't remember the years he played with the Orioles after with the Brewers. Solid career for him. Lou Whitaker. Good second baseman. It's Nolan Ryan. Nice looking card there. Oh, there we go. Ozzie Smith. Then the Jose Canseco Cup card. This is a card that a lot of us as kids were chasing after. I mean, if we couldn't get the 86 Don Ross, which I think a lot of us couldn't afford <laughs> at the time, this is kind of the next best thing that many of us could get for Canseco. So, that's a very nice card. I actually have a copy of this card autographed. Um, but fun card. I think that's my favorite card that we pulled out of this group. So, as I expect with the first few rack packs, we're going to get a lot of new cards that we haven't seen yet. And that was definitely true with this, this group. So off camera, we'll count up how many cards we have and see, see how we're doing. I'd expect that uh, we'll get half the set here pretty quick and then start seeing a few, quite a few duplicates. Um, if you enjoyed watching this break, uh, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, or even subscribe if you want to. Uh, look forward to chatting with you all in a future video and maybe in the comments or whatnot. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.